Welcome Taurus. Okay, so we're going to be getting a message from Spirit for you today. Okay, using postcards from Spirit and whispers of healing and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get into it here. So Spirit, what would you like to say to Taurus today? What message are you sending Taurus? That is two cards, please, Spirit. We would only like one card for Taurus. One card for Taurus, please. I want one to jump out for you, Taurus. Thank you. Dearest you, we have a secret to share with you. If you act as if all is well, it will be. Act as if you are brave and you will have courage. Act as if you are loved and you will be a magnet for love and experience the love of spirit. Act as if your prayers have been answered, as if you are truly in sync with good fortune. How do you think, oh, sorry, how you think is how you will receive, is how you will see the world. Interact with it and draw conclusions from it. If you want to be the person who has the life you want, co-creating and loving what is yours, you need to start acting as if that were the truth. Don't worry about the conditions in your life that seem empty or cavernous, chaotic or barren. These are temporary and don't even count. Defy them and act as if you're the luckiest person on the planet. You will be, oh sorry, you will be, for you already are. That's the real secret. You are infinite potential. And they sign it off saying, Loving you so much, rainbows explode in the ether. <laughs> in the ether. I love that. That's gorgeous. Okay, so let's look further into this here for you, Taurus. The secret, okay? Act as if, act as if. We've got well-being here. Love that, well-being. So, Taurus, well-being. Act as if. You know, this is all about, you know, that well-being, right? Whether it's in your health, whether or it's your um, emotional state, your mental state, whatever. Your thoughts are, are what is... Um, contributing to that here um and i know that that might hit some of you a little bit like well it's not my fault this has happened to me um but how we deal with these things is in our control okay um and i definitely did i even show you this i'm not sure i definitely feel like your thoughts are um something that at least you can have control of, even if it feels like everything else in your life is out of your control. Um, your thoughts and acting as if in your mind sends out a vibration for more of that to come to you. Okay, so well-being. Tell me more about well-being for Taurus. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, jumping all over the shop today. Thunderbolt. So there could have been something very sudden that has happened, something unexpected that has taken things down for you. Um, um, and this is what I mean when I say it may not even be in your control that whatever has happened has happened, okay? But it's what we do with that, okay? Um, it's just this sentence here is jumping out at me. If you want to be the person who has the life you want, co-creating and loving what is yours, you need to start acting as if that
that were true. Love it. Projections. What is it that you are projecting out here, Taurus? You know, um, because it's it seems like for some of you that there's the, a bit of a mask of oh everything's fine. It's there's not a problem. Like sort of believing that if you say it enough, it will happen. But I feel like for you, Taurus, it's more than that. You need to start really embodying your soul with it, in a sense, you know. Um, I mean, that's not to say that if you, say, want a million bucks or whatever, right, that you're going to go out and rack up all this debt because you want to act as if you're a millionaire, you know, obviously you're doing things responsibly. But I feel like it's really important for you to be aware of what it is that you're putting out there. Okay, and just um, speaking it is not enough. Okay, it's actually really feeling it because I feel like inside um, there's a whole different energy happening for you. Okay, oh, that's the wrong deck. Okay, so... Taurus, what's the next card here? And this is going to impact your well-being, you know. Um, so I think it's very important for you to be aware of and just take time over the next couple of weeks to be aware of that. You know, be patient with yourself, be gentle with yourself and kind and loving. Okay, but um, if you want, you know, this projection, projections card, if you want, see how these shadow sort of people are very look very angry if you want more of that to come to you then um it will you know if that's what you're feeling inside if you're feeling really peed off that this has happened whatever it is has happened then you're going to get more of that you know um but if you understand that you acting as if you have the life that you want is going to help create it. It's The ride is going to be a lot smoother for you. Okay, and you're going to get there a lot quicker, right? Okay, so we have alternative. What is the alternative? You know, every time you think something or, um, you know, you're seeing how things aren't working out, what's the alternative to that? You know, how would you, if it's something you don't want, this thunderbolt here, what's the alternative to that happening? You know, is it the Ten of Cups? Is it the Ten of Pentacles? Is it the Nine of Cups? You know, what is it? Um, and then really setting it in your mind as to how that would be. And that could even simply be daydreaming, Taurus, about, okay, so... That's happened. I don't want that to be real in my life. This is the alternative that I want. Okay. Um, and, and also make it realistic, right? Um, because say, for example, if someone you love has passed over and you want them to be here in, in the land of the living, it's not realistic that they're going to come back to life. But if you want to feel better about, you know, or start that healing process from them passing, then that's the sort of thing that you would imagine, right? Um, yeah, um, and you can treat it like an adventure, you know, have fun with it, play games with it, it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom and serious, right? Um, you can, you know, I think this is also about you learning to do this, this is you because, you know, some of you may have been so used to doing things a particular way for so long that this is new to you. This concept could be entirely new to you. So this is, you know, about you playing around with it and going, okay, so what would I like to change in my life? What would I like to be different? You know, from here on out into the future, what do I want my future to look, look like? Understanding that you have the power in your hands to create whatever you want. 
you know, and it's not about, oh, well, I can't do that because of this, and I can't do that because of that person, and you know, it's like, no, you really, really go into what's your alternative here, what's the alternative, and how can you create that, how can you make it happen, because you look at these two, it's interesting too that these are like depicting children here for me, and I just wonder if this is sort of like bringing through that inner child to be playful. You know how you used to make up imaginary games when you were young and play and pretend you were fairies and wave the magic wand, right? That was really just a stick from the garden. You know, abracadabra. What is it that you want to create? You know, because now you have the power to do that. Now. You're actually in control here, Taurus. So this is exciting, okay? Get excited about it, okay? This is about patience. Whenever we are growing something and birthing something new, we need to be patient. It's like planting a seed, Taurus. We can't go and dig the seed up every day to see how it's growing, okay? We need to let it be in there. We need to nurture it. We need to give it what it needs, we need to feed it, we need to water it, and we need to put it in the sun, um, put it in the shade, whatever, talk to it, love it. We need to do all that so that it grows. And it takes time, right? You don't plant an apple tree expecting fruit tomorrow. You know that that's going to take time to grow and produce fruit to be harvested. So it's the same with whatever it is that you want to create. It will take time, so have patience with that. And in the meantime, you act as if you already have it, right? You go and get your apples from the grocery store and you go, I'm, I love these apples that I grew on my tree. Love it, you know? And you sort of like make believe and play pretend, yeah? Breathe. Sleep it, eat it and breathe it. Um... I feel like this is you coming up for air in the midst of the storm. Um, I feel like some of you need a, lean, a helping hand. You need a helping hand to move forward. You need support and you need love. Okay, I feel like some of you feel quite immersed by your emotions. And, um, and this is where I think sort of... Because... It can be very easy to say, oh, just act as if and do all this stuff and be positive and blah, blah, blah. But after a thunderbolt moment, that, that can be friggin' hard to do, right? It can be so hard to do, Taurus. I know, it really, really can. Um, and sometimes, Taurus, sometimes... All you have to do is remember to breathe. That's all you have to do is just breathe. When things feel like they're getting too hard, you just have to breathe. Breathe in the life force energy. Okay? And get that help that you need. Get the support you need. Gather those around you who can help lift you up. Who can help you during the storm. Okay, because it's, it's, yeah, it's not easy and it does take time to get through things and it does take time to create what it is that you want to create, you know. Um, so, yeah, this is sometimes this is all we need to remember what to do is breathe, you know. That's all we can do at times, you know. So, yeah, tell me more about breathe for tourists, please. And also, I want to say that when things do feel really heavy, um, just to actually focus on your breathing and go deep and take, um, you know, look, a really great thing is to place your hand on your heart, okay, and focus on your heart center and take five breaths in, well, sorry, not five breaths in, a breath for five seconds and breathe out for eight seconds, and repeatedly do that, okay? And as you do that, find something that you're grateful for. And even if it is only the 
that you've got fresh air to breathe just be grateful for that and that is going to help ground you and it's going to help calm you okay um we've got here going with the flow yeah see this is a new beginning this is something that you um and I know it might not feel that exciting for some of you right now, but it is something that you can create here, Taurus, okay? Uh, yeah, I, I, sorry. I just got a flash of something then. What was that? Bring it back. It's kind of like, this is interesting because you're under the water here, but it's sort of like some of you have been going along and you hit a rock. And it was really unexpected and it's it's sort of done some damage. It's kind of like, well, that's what you have been doing, going with the flow. And then it didn't work that way and it's kind of put you off a bit from going with the flow. It's just the shock of like, oh, geez, what was that? Like that thunderbolt moment, right? Um, so I just want to say that, you know, it's kind of like you needed to be redirected and you may not see the reason for that yet, but you did have to be redirected. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, possibilities. This is fantastic. I feel like you're at the beginning of, um, really working out what it is that, which direction you want to go in here. And it could be that for some of you, you're not entirely sure. Um, there's this heart's calling, but there's also this um, sort of like you have responsibilities and you feel like you're obliged to fulfill those responsibilities, but your heart is calling you in an opposite direction, okay? And um, I, I mean, obviously it's entirely up to you what you decide there, Taurus. But I do want to say, what is going to fulfill you? Um, I feel like it's important for you to rise above a situation and try and see things from a bird's eye point of view. Okay, um, the eagle is extremely intuitive. And very wise, I think, I know for me, when I look into an eagle's eyes, they've got this real certainty about them. They've got this internal power. And I feel like right now, you, there's this need for you to tap into that. As hard as that might be, you need to tap into this, okay? Um, because that's going to help you. Because it is there. Um, some of you may not believe that you have that within you or you may have lost faith in that okay but I do feel like that it's necessary for you to draw on that right now Taurus in order for you to go in the direction that is calling you as opposed to going in a direction that you feel obliged to go in huge difference huge okay release The storm that I was talking about before, that I briefly touched upon, this is you releasing everything within you that has been a result of that storm. And maybe some of you are still in the storm. And as you go through it, Taurus, release as much as you can. Don't hold on to it, okay? Um, you might be trying to get through it. You know, you might be trying to be strong and, you know, I'm going to get through this and all that kind of thing. That's great. That's a great attitude to have, but make sure you're releasing any emotions along with that, okay? Because you don't want to get to, out of the storm and then find you crash and burn because you haven't released any of the emotions, okay? Um, because that can happen. And it's sort of like then when you get to the end of it, you do collapse um, because you all you've been doing is surviving throughout that storm. Um, and I think it's very important, you know, okay, it's one thing to be strong to get through it, but what does that mean? Suppressing um, things that need to be released, not so much. I think, you know, this is a good way to actually deal with it, is to 
you know, yeah, see, look, guilt. Um, you, you know, whatever choice you make, you may feel guilty about it, right? And you may be all up in your head about it. These are the things that need to be released, whatever emotions. It might not be guilt necessarily, but that's just an example of one emotion that you could be feeling over this decision that you may have to make here, okay? Um, this tower moment may have been something that you actually created in order for you to move forward, but there's a lot of emotions surrounding that and if that is the case you may potentially not feel like you should be feeling the way you do because this is what you wanted but please know that that is um still real for you and you still have the right to release those okay you don't have to hold on to anything that's not serving you okay there we go that's what i like totality yes reaching out reaching out for help Allowing people to come and help you. Allowing people to bridge the gap, you know, to help you do that. It's, you don't have to have it all on your shoulders here, Taurus. You can allow people in to help you. And I feel as though um, sometimes you just, sometimes I feel like you try to reach a certain point and you just feel like you just missed the mark, you know. And then it's like, oh, dang, I better go this direction then. But I do feel like you need to just, Give it one more go, in a sense, and swing back and you'll be able to make that connection there, okay? Because that's what's happening with these acrobats. It's just they're almost there. They're almost making that, um, you know, that connection. But there's just one more big swing to come back and then bam, it will happen. But I don't give up too soon is what I want to say there. Do not give up too soon, okay? It's okay just to give it one more go. Um, if it's the best thing for you though okay next card for Taurus please I do want to say in that Taurus that um, if you are in a bad um, relationship that one, one more go might not be the best choice okay sometimes we it's a matter of seeing that we have given all we have got and it's time to you know go on another adventure Right? So, yeah. Okay, next card for Taurus, please. Taurus. Next card for Taurus. Okay, excellent. We've got our two cards here. Vibration. Yeah, this is what I was saying before about what is it that you're putting out there, right? Especially, you know, and this is this acting as if, right? This is what is going to put this vibration out there when you act as if. It's going to come to you. When you're stuck in these, this vibration of, you know, this kind of energy, this is what is going to come. You're going to get more of this. So this is where it's very important for you to act as if, okay, there's, there's a dream that you have, a life that you want. And... You, you might be, Taurus, focusing on what you don't have. Okay, so this is where it's so important for you to, because you know you've dreamed it before, right? You've dreamed it before. You know what it would feel like to have that. And it's like, oh my gosh. And then you're like, oh, but I don't have it. It doesn't matter. Just act as if that's what you want to be putting out there, okay? That vibration, and that's going to help lift you up as well. It's going to help your well-being. It's going to help your health. It's going to help your, your emotional and your mental state as well. Okay. And remember, all the while, you know, also I want to say about this though, is that with this release card, it's okay to release the negative feelings. It doesn't mean we have to suppress them. So there is a balance there, okay? Um, we're not sitting in that negativity because we're releasing it. If we were holding on to it, then that's going to be detrimental to our growth and creating what it is that we want to create, okay? But when we're releasing it, that's okay because we're letting go, all right? And remember, Taurus, always breathe okay so vibration two cards for vibration for Taurus please tell me more about this for Taurus oh we've had one flip up here what is this 
compromise. <laughs> stubbornness, Taurus, letting go of that stubbornness, right? <laughs> oh, that might be hard for some of you to do, that compromise, like, no, this is the way it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's very important for you to, um, to do, and even compromising with yourself, okay? Letting this act as if come in to play yeah and we've got aloneness here and I feel like this is important for you to actually spend some time on your own to allow this daydreaming to happen for you to allow this acting as if to actually transpire so you can sort of have those, you know, it could be that you take 20 minutes, even 10 minutes, if that's all you have time for, to really sit and close your eyes and act, oh my gosh, how exciting that would be, and see, send that out into the universe. Like, this is my order universe, like you go into a restaurant and you order a particular meal and you give it to the waitress or the waiter or you go up to the counter and order it and you go back to your chair. You don't wonder, oh, will it come? Oh, I wonder if I'll get that meal that I ordered. Or will it be something else? You don't question it. You know that that's what you've ordered and you know it's going to come. Okay? It's the same deal here. Okay? Exactly the same dealio. Right? So this is what you need to do. The other thing with this is that I feel like this um, is your internal light here guiding the way. Okay, this is about you tapping in, and, and this is where the releasing of the emotions is so important, because this is going to allow you to, um, to go along the path that is unseen. Okay, and that can definitely be scary. Okay, and this might be why you want to go with this um, sort of choice that seems like a better idea because you know what to expect rather than the unknown one but it's the unknown one that is calling you okay so this is very important for you um because this is part of your soul's journey okay and answers within is the very last card here which i really love and this is very great following along from the aloneness here because you do hold the answers within. If there's anything you're not sure of, you tap within into that intuition, right? And that will guide the way. It will not go wrong. It might not be what you want to hear, <laughs> but it will guide the way, okay? Um, so give me two cards about answers within for Taurus, please. There's the first card, which I can't see. Oh, something's flipped over here. What is this one? Brightness. And we've got schizophrenia so this is this choice again not being able to see not sure which way to go um but that the the thing with schizophrenia is the way is there the the making the choice feels very vulnerable to you because you you're sort of hanging in the balance there right and um and you're not entirely sure but this i feel is you standing in this power of no, of the apple like this is the apples right what are you planting the apples are ripe here what are you aiming towards this is what your guide is what is it that you're aiming towards what are you wishing for and what do you want to what direction do you want to go in okay because this is going to help you decide which way to go okay and it's going to help you to keep the focus and um stay on the path because I think sometimes you might wobble a little bit, um, but just remember to hold on to that Taurus, okay? And I'm just going to, yeah, because it's that thing of why did you plant the apple seed? Because you wanted to grow apples, okay? So it's sort of like understanding why you've done what you've done, okay? Um, so let's just readdress this. Dearest you, we have a secret to share with you. If you act as if all is well, it will be. Act as if you are brave and you will have courage. Act as if you are loved and you will be a magnet for love and experience the love of spirit. Act as if your prayers have been answered, as if 
you are truly in sync with good fortune. How you think is how you will see the world, interact with it, and draw conclusions from it. If you want to be the person who has the life you want, co-creating and loving what is yours, you need to start acting as if that were the truth. Don't worry about the conditions in your life that seem empty or cavernous, chaotic or barren. These are temporary and don't even count. Defy them and act as if you are the luckiest person on the planet. You will be, for you already are. That's the real secret. You are infinite potential. Loving you so much, rainbows explode in the ether. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Um, Taurus, please um, share this video. So, because, you know, these messages are for many more people. Um, so share this video, subscribe, like, do all that jazz, okay? And remember to act as if, because that's what you're worthy of. And whatever you're going through right now, in the biggest scheme of things, it's a blip in your life. It's not to minimize anything, but it is a small portion in the bigger scheme of things. So try and remember that. And if all else fails, remember to breathe. Okay, Taurus, I'll leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.